You know, I'm driving this car and the low fuel light's on, the thing's just about to run out of gas, and I'm always reminded of the fact that you can be driving one of these Bentleys with $2 in your pocket, no gas in the tank, but you always feel rich in one of these Bentleys. And hopefully, it's not gonna strand us on the side of the street before we get back to finish this video. Hi, I'm uh, John Robeson from J.E. Robeson Service in Springfield, Massachusetts. We've been independent service repair and restoration for Bentley motor cars for 30 some years. Today we're looking at a really exceptional 1996 Turbo RL, the long wheelbase version of the Turbo R. Uh, this car has been extensively restored or reworked in our shops over a period of about 10 years. Uh, we started out um, with the task of cleaning up the body. The paint was just kind of faded and rough looking. Uh, the car was uh, stripped and it's refinished in uh, modern uh, glazerate. Um, I hope the camera can capture it. If you look at the reflections of the brickwork behind me in the hood, in the roof, in the trunk, if you look at the reflections along the side, it, it looks just about like the day we painted it. Um, one thing that's really nice about this job is the uh, client had us replace all of this, this rubber, all the molding rubbers. So typically in these cars, you see this, this molding is all cracking and crumbly from age. In this car, that stuff's all new. This car has the European H4 CBA headlights, which are much more powerful than the American sealed beams. Um, the client put new Bentley logos front and rear on here, so the, you know, the red B and all is nice and sharp. A um, little while after that was done, the car got new Avon CR228 uh, tires. The date code on these tires is 2011. Um, they're so 10 years old, but they're really brand new. There's really no, no wear on them. The car's been stored indoors. So no sign of dry rot or anything like that. So looking in the trunk, the car has a, a custom Macintosh stereo. The head unit's up in front, of course, and it's got the booster amplifier back here. Um, it has all the books and records in the black leather pouch. This car has a sheepskin overlay mat for the trunk compartment on top of the uh, stock carpet. So it's all very nice and clean. It's in just about as new condition. Looking inside here, um, one really exceptional feature of this car is that it has the um, optional veneer inserts in the center of the door panels, and all this wood was uh, pulled and re-veneered and refinished by Will Rao, who was the top uh, wood expert in the country for Rolls-Royce and Bentley cars. We do a lot of work with Will, and it's just beautiful work on this car. You can see the car's got custom wood steering wheel, all the dash is redone, door panels. Um, in addition to the woodwork, um, we've also got custom uh, floor mats in here on top of uh, newly done wool carpets below. Has the tray tables and uh, this has power rear seats. There's one side. And uh, there's the other side. As you can see, the leather in this car is really nice, regularly treated with leather eek. Looking under the hood, this is uh, what's referred to as a uh, covered engine uh, series of car. These are the cars with uh, Motronic or Zytec engine management where the engine's all covered with shrouding. These were made between 1993 and uh, 1999 in the Turbo R. So this is the final and most powerful iteration of the Turbo R has electronically controlled variable turbo boost, has independent uh, electronic injection to each cylinder, has a large single turbo right here. Um, this engine had a head gasket failure, something these cars are known for about five years ago, and uh, it has had the uh, heads pulled, it's had the uh, valves done, it's had several of the studs replaced, and, uh, and it's all put back together and as far as we know, it's in, it's in fine shape now. This car received new shocks all around. 
Um, got all new hydraulic hoses. You can see from the centeredness of this that all of these uh, bushings are tight and the car is uh, rattle free and smooth running on the road. We can uh, take it for a ride now. This car um, was retrofitted with the adjustable steering column that came in in 1997. That was another of the custom features we did on this car. So you can see the, the tilt is working and the, the wood wheel is really a nice touch in this. Um, Will Rail really does those beautifully. So we've got the later version of the uh, GM 4L80 transmission in this car, so it's a nice smooth shifting unit. Engine silent, there's no noise, rolling over bumps. Now the, uh, the air conditioning system is uh, cooling us off nicely. This car shows 62,113 miles and uh, the odometer is uh, working. We just saw it turn over from 62,112. Uh, this car has hardly been driven at all in the last three years. That's uh, why the owners decided to sell it. It has been uh, preserved in our climate control warehouse and it's fueled with Sunoco Optima Motorsports fuel so there's no issue of the gas going bad in storage. The car is ready to roll out of here at any moment. This car has just been really meticulously maintained in our company. That's really the most exceptional thing about it, that we've done all the scheduled services. Anything that was the least bit amiss has been taken care of. And, you know, we've been taking care of this car for a dozen years now. It's, it's as good a one as you'll find. This car was uh, shown at the Rolls-Royce and Bentley Clubs national meet at uh, French Lick, which I think was in uh, 18. It's been uh, shown at Newport, been shown at the British Invasion. Um, very, very clean and nice turbo RL. You know, I'm driving this car and a low fuel light's on. The thing's just about to run out of gas. And I'm always reminded of the fact that you can be driving one of these Bentleys with $2 in your pocket, no gas in the tank, but you always feel rich in one of these Bentleys. And hopefully, it's not going to strand us on the side of the street before we get back to finish this video. Well, I made it back to shop without running out of gas. We'll uh, bring it inside, put it up on the lift, and I can uh, show you the underside. Okay, looking under the car, you really see signs of care everywhere. Um, you can see the car's got recent brake hoses. It's got recent brake pads and sensors. You can see the struts have been replaced in the car. Steering rack is a replacement. Hydraulic hoses have been updated on the car and see it here and on the other side. Subframe dampers have been renewed. Cars all just really nice and clean everywhere under here. It's also been uh, touched up with the black wax oil so this coating is is all good. This car's had the uh, drive axles apart and serviced. Of course there's no rust or corrosion anywhere. You, can, you know just look around at all this. It's a very very clean car underneath. This is one of the uh, later cars which has the spare tire and a well in the trunk too. That's a very nice feature compared to the older cars. Thanks for joining me today and for looking at this car. This is surely one of the finest Turbo RLs in the country now. Uh, the link to bid on this car on Bring a Trailer will be below and uh, we are RobesonService.com. Thank you.